Yes, dear students, in this specific video, I am going to explain enthalpy change uh, questions in practical paper that is in chemistry 9701, 33 or 34 it can be. Okay, <clears throat> uh, in this specific question or in specific paper, we will see the response of A grade students, C grade student and E grade student. What common mistakes can be carried out? Uh, you should avoid these mistake. Okay, uh, this question is related to enthalpy change of neutralization. Remember, uh, neutralization reactions are normally exothermic reaction. How would know that this is a uh, exothermic reaction? Whenever there is increase uh, in thermometer reading, this shows that this is exothermic reaction. That is on the addition of Acid in NUH or on the addition of NUH in acid, alkali in acid or acid in alkali. In the result of this, there will be change in temperature and this change in temperature will be observed on thermometer. For example, in this specific question, if you see he is saying that Fa1 specifically NUH and hydrochloric acid fill a burette with Fa1. Uh, Fa1 is NUH sport the plastic cup in 250 centimeter cube beaker. Why there is need to hold plastic cup in 250 centimeter cube beaker? This insulate the loss in temperature. Not 100%, but to some extent, it insulate the loss in temperature. It reduce the loss in temperature. Use a measuring cylinder to transfer 25 centimeter cube of FA2 in 100 centimeter cube of beaker. Uh, this will be like this shape. <clears throat> this is large beaker. In this large beaker, there is a small beaker. This small beaker actually containing uh, <clears throat> this uh, 100 centimeter cube uh, beaker, which is which will contain this 25 centimeter cube of FA2. <clears throat> okay. After adding FA2, use a measuring cylinder to add 35 centimeter cube of distal water to the acid in the beaker. Means this total volume become 35 plus 25. Measure and record in the table below the initial temperature of the mixture in the beaker. Run 5 centimeter cube of FA1 from the burette. That is each time you will run 5 centimeter cube after running this 5 centimeter cube you will observe the temperature change <clears throat> in plastic cup add the mixture of acid and water from the 100 centimeter cube beaker to fa4 one in the uh, plastic cup stirrer carefully and measure the highest temperature obtained record the temperature in the table rinse the plastic cup with water uh, repeat the experiment using 25 centimeter cube of FA2, this time 30 centimeter cube of distal water and 10 centimeter cube of FA1 as shown for experiment 2 in the table. Carry out experiment 3 to 7 in the same way, completing the table for each experiment. Means each time he is reducing the temperature, mean, meaning reducing temperature uh, sorry, reducing the concentration means adding small amount of water or reducing the amount of water. This will increase the concentration. More water, less concentration, less water, more concentration. So means we are observing the change in temperature related to <clears throat> concentration. Okay, if you see this table, why this uh, candidate got A mark or full mark in this specific paper? He has given all answers nearest to 0, 0.0 degree Celsius or 0. 0.5 degree Celsius. Remember, thermometer reading or least count of thermometer is nearest to 0. 0.5 degree Celsius. Okay. He got this first mark because he has given all readings nearest to 0, 0.0 degree Celsius, all in tabulated form. And uh, these three marks are because these results are same, are nearest, are within the range of 0, 0.1 degree Celsius to supervisor response or supervisor results. Means the examiner which will be doing 
<clears throat> experiment with you in lab as well. Okay. Now we will see the response of principal examiner. What he is saying about this. This answer was typically in the full marks where gain for the accuracy which the experiment was carried out. Thermometer readings are expected to be taken to the nearest 0.5 degree Celsius without interpolation and for a least one of the reading to be 0 0.5 degree Celsius. For example, if you have taken many readings, um, out of these many readings, at least, for example, this <clears throat> and um, any other, any other, this one, this one are nearest to 0 0.5 degree Celsius. Other are 11.0, that is nearest to 0. 0 degree Celsius are 11.0 nearest to 0 0.0 degree Celsius. Hope you understand while you are taking enthalpy changes reaction or while you are taking thermometer reading, very important thing is that all reading must be taken nearest to 0 0.0 degree Celsius or 0 0.5 degree Celsius. Okay, next we will move to the response of the candidate who got C mark. What is the mistake? What mistake has he has done? If you notice, just one mark is cut. This mark for what this mark? I would like to show you uh, the mark for third is for <clears throat> in the marking scheme. If we see in marking scheme, the third mark for <clears throat> A temperature rise followed by a constant temperature within 0 0.5 degrees Celsius. This third mark is not awarded to the student who got C mark because maybe he has not taken the reading. We will see it again. What is What uh, was the mistake of this student? Uh, I would like to go again on C mark answer. Yes. <clears throat> In this... Um, he has taken uh, this reading incorrectly. Okay, just one mark is cut. Uh, we will see what the response of examiner. Um, <clears throat> much of these answer was very good and many candidates gaining a grade C were equally competent in this section. A mark was lost owing to the much higher temperature rise in experiment seven. Uh, if we see experiment seven, uh, temperature rise is very high. Okay, the candidate would have benefited from repeating it. Um, if he, he repeated, then he can got the results. Okay, now <clears throat> I would like to show you the exam result of the candidate who got E grade. Why he got E grade? If you noticed, um, the mistakes, uh, very first mistake, the readings are not taken to nearest uh, 0, 0 degree Celsius or 0 0.5 degree Celsius, nearest to 0 0.5 degree Celsius. What are the mistakes he not got? He got this second mark, third mark, fourth marks. Uh, maybe his result uh, is not nearest to examiner result. That's why he's not gaining this mark and this mark. This fifth uh, sixth and seventh marks are because of the examiner results, uh, matching with the examiner results. In this answers, the candidate need to show more precision in the thermometer reading and the experiment results differed from those of the supervisors. Although there was no change in temperature rise in the final three experiments, they were 1.0 degrees Celsius lower than the maximum which should not have been uh, occurred as the same number of moles of water would have been formed. So he has not shown the temperature changes. Hope you got what are the mistake. Next to it, we will see how he has drawn the, or how the student drawn the graph related to this. Uh, this is a marking scheme. We will see if there is need. Okay, example candidate response. If you see, the axis of this uh, candidate, he has written the thermometer readings with carefully. Even he has put the 
8.0, this shows that he is doing very well. And this is the intersection point. This is the maximum rise in temperature has shown very clearly. What are the properties of this specific question? Why he got A mark? We will see the examiner response. This excellent answers is type of a many grade A and B candidates. The drawing of the best fit line with positive gradient. Hope you understand what is meant by positive gradient was made easier by obtaining excellent experiment results. Okay, uh, the basically I would like to show you more uh, C. Okay, if you see it is uh, totally different from above. Uh, even he got marks. Um, what are the mistakes? He not done this fourth point. Fourth point is for, I would like to show you marking scheme. If we see marking scheme, draw two straight lines of best fit, which intersect, which intersect. Intersect means they cut at one point to each other. Uh, maybe these lines are not accordingly. Uh, these are uh, lines which run equally are not intersecting, not clearly intersecting. I am not able to see it where they are intersecting. Okay. Uh, hard, uh, had the anomalous results for experiment 7 been circled or labeled and omitted from any attempt at a best fit line. Mm, yes, this answer is omitted from the best fit because there was not best fit. The candidate may have been awarded full marks on this section. The line with the higher gradient is almost one of the best fit. The candidate would have benefited from using 0, 0.0 and ensuring points were lying. Yes, yes, if you see uh, these uh, specifically access, uh, these are not uh, given as above candidate has given. So be careful about this while you are using temperature on any axis, you have to show it very clearly. Okay, <clears throat> now I would like to move towards the response of E grade student. What was wrong with E grade student? Two lines with best fit, not circled, not clearly mention the points. Um, the table for the axis, uh, though correctly placed, do not include units. Yes, this is very important. Students are used to miss units. Uh, I would like to say that when you are not writing units, you have given a blank check to examiner that he may assume anything on it. Uh, so must put units. Uh, place do not include units. Both best fit lines have points lying to one side only. By starting the scale at 4 degrees Celsius, it was not possible for the candidate to use 0 0.00. Yes, he is not able to use this. He should start from here. That is 0 0.00. Okay, gee. next, hope you understand how you will take um, the readings from thermometer. Okay, uh, some points I would like to uh, explain regarding uh, temperature readings. Remember, uh, here we will use normally in thermometer or enthalpy changes question, we will use MC delta D. Uh, what mass is taken in MC delta T? I would like to write here. If energy E showing energy here, MC delta T. This M is the mass of total solution. For example, in first beaker, you have taken uh, 30, this 30 and 25, both and from above you added uh, five centimeter cube. Uh, what he is saying, repeat the experiment using 25 centimeter cube of FA2, 30 centimeter cube of distal water and 10 centimeter cube of FA1. So total volume, is when the all volumes are added, this will give this mass of aqueous solution. Remember the temperature change is for whole solution, not for single solution or single liquid. 
temperature change is for whole solution. So we have to take the mass of whole solution, not some part of it. Hope you understand it. Again, heat capacity should be given if there is need of this. And uh, secondly, uh, I earlier explained if there is a rise in temperature on thermometer, this is exothermic reaction. If decrease in temp thermometer reading, temperature reading, this is endothermic reaction. Hope with the help of these candidate response, you are uh, able to understand how we have to draw graph and specifically how we will take thermometer readings. Uh, my best wishes are with you for your exams. Uh, hope for the best. <clears throat>